What is the funniest or most quirky thing about your spouse? Probably that Ralph says very random things all the time. And he thinks he's funny, which sometimes he is, but lots of times he isn't. And then when he thinks he's funny and I don't think he's funny, he wants to give me taters, like taters. It's a fist bump, but for him it's taters. So that's quirky. Um, the when we were first married, she wrote me a love note and put it in my sandwich. And she's been kind of always on the edge. Um, I think another quick one I can think of is that one of our first experiences together it was um, icy parking lot in the Ames, Iowa chapel and she did donuts and I'm certain I wet my pants because she did it in her um, GM's or AMC Gremlin that she loved that car. How do you remember your first kiss? Mm, I think it was in my car when I was dropping him off from a church activity in my little gremlin. I think. <laughs> I've been home from my mission for three weeks. Um, and... It was when, after three days of proposing to her, she wanted to kiss me, and I was clueless, and I finally figured out that it was a good thing. What was the craziest experience you've had these many years of marriage? Hmm. Craziest. We're pretty safe. We don't do crazy things. I think the craziest thing I did was go in a hot air balloon, but I left Ralph on the ground because he didn't want to go with me. So I just left him. But um, probably um, we, we've gone to lots of different like cultural events like plays and stuff which have been phenomenal. So I guess I'll say that. I think um, going to Israel and having a men's and women's bathroom and seeing um, our youngest son, Jeremy, try to pee in a trough when a woman was squatting, trying to do her business at the same time. What advice do you have about marriage? Communicate, 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 and then listen. That's been probably the best part of our marriage is that we communicate well, and when we are not communicating and not listening to each other, things don't go well. But then when we open up and we communicate, good or bad, um, things are a lot better. So that's my advice. Just be nice to your spouse. Um, try to love every day and I would say be honest and have complete integrity in 40 years of marriage to one person what have you learned about your spouse um, Ralph is 
very, very loyal. He's um, tender hearted when it comes to his wife and his kids and now his grandkids. Um, he um, he can feel the spirit about things. And I've always known that, but but I guess in recent years it's surprised me when he feels strongly about something and then we do it and it was the right thing to do. Um, he loves me with all his heart and soul. And I, that's just been, um, I, like I've always known that, but it's been more prominent the, probably the last couple of years that, that I go, man, this guy loves me. The first thing that I've learned is that uh, I will be forever grateful to Elder King and Elder Cook for teaching her the gospel and that she um, accepted it. The other thing I've learned is that um, she's absolutely hilarious and she is one who will serve anyone and help anyone. What do you love most about your sweetheart? He is, he's, but he's a 62-year-old Boy Scout when, like, he's loyal, he's trustworthy, he's a good friend. He, um, when he's asked to do something, he does it. There's no procrastination. He just does it. Oh, you've asked me to do this. I'll, I'll do it. And he'll do anything. Like he does the things that I hate to do. Make phone calls, go run errands, contact people when I don't want to. And I really, really love that about him. that she keeps me grounded. She helps me realize um, what's most important. What is the hardest thing you've gone through with your spouse by your side? Um, probably, probably the decision to leave Casper's ice cream has been the hardest thing it was. Um, We, we got the we got the prompting to sell our stock in the business and to leave and it was definitely the hardest thing that we've ever done it was a business that we loved with all our heart and soul and we put our blood sweat and tears into it and it was very difficult still is difficult 10 plus years later um 12 years later um <clears throat> i think the other thing that has been so difficult for me but ralph has stood by my side is i have had extremely low self-esteem my whole life and and Ralph just loves me. He holds me when I cry. He tells me it's gonna be okay when I hate myself, when I think I'm no good. I'm never gonna be good enough. He just still loves me. It's amazing, actually. Um, I would say exiting uh, the family business. 
she knew how difficult it would be because we believed in Derwan and Casper's philosophy, um, not just about family, but about business principles. And um, we try to live those in our personal finances as best we can. In as many words as you'd like, what would you like to say to your sweetheart for your 40th wedding anniversary? Oh, Ralphie. Ralphie, I love you. I, I love you more today than I did 40 years ago. And I didn't think it was possible. You're my very best friend. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, ever. And I love spending time with you. I love the quiet moments and the crazy moments and I love your hugs, I love your kisses. You're the best, honey, I love you. I was going to say here's to 40 more, but I don't want to live that long. So here's to 20 more, maybe, okay? It's been a terrific ride, and hopefully we can go for 41 and many more. Um, you're an amazing lady. I love you tremendously, and I'm grateful that I have you for eternity. You say